What's up guys, AK here, back again making another YouTube video and I'm just going to touch my hair quickly because why not. Today I'm doing another vlog and this is another kind of film review vlog. This one, I just got a little bit, a little bit of backstory before I start the video. So, um, Avengers Infinity War is coming up in a few months time. I'm pretty sure it's April 14th. Don't quote me on that, it is in April. But anyway, I am extremely hyped for this movie, and I want to do something to express my hype for this film. So I decided to review every single MCU film, just in order, like from release date, from Iron Man, all the way to Thor Ragnarok. And then at the time when Infinity War comes out, and I'll do the Infinity War review. So I'm planning on doing this every week. Every week, I might not be able to finish that, so if you calculate, it's around... Uh, let's say the four weeks a month that is four by four 16 and take away a few around 14 or 13 so I might have to cram maybe a couple in a week but I'm planning on doing this what do you think why not I plan on doing this I don't know I don't know when this comes out when if this comes out I should be the skeptical but anyway guys, have for this video, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, turn notifications, and the giveaway. And if you want to share your reactions to uh, the next film, which is going to be The Incredible Hulk, you can do that by uh, sharing your reaction on the Stardust app. And you can tag me at AKJK, and I'll share a few uh, short reviews. And there's a link in the description to the app, I'm not sponsored by them, it's completely free. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin the Iron Man review. That is the first film in the MCU. Right, guys, so this is the first film of the MCU. This kicked off the ultimate film franchise, which we all know today. We all watch with our parents, it is a household name, we watch with our friends, kids, brothers, sisters. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows Iron Man now. Not everyone knew it before, which was why this movie was so successful. Managed to take a not very well known character make him one of the most well-known characters in the entire universe. Just quite crazy. Anyway, a little bit of backstory. This book, this was directed by John Favreau and it starred Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, if you didn't know that already. I mean, you should if you're watching this video. So anyway, Robert Downey Jr. was one of the key parts that made this film successful. Because like, if you think about uh, any other actor, let's say Chris Evans, playing Iron Man, you, you, it just, it's just not going to work. It's just, he's like the perfect character for this role. He is this humorous, uh, full of himself, sort of character, which everyone loves. And uh, even though he can be a douche at the same time, if you get what I mean, he's a very well, always very liked character throughout the MCU. He is my favorite Marvel character, apart from Deadpool. Deadpool I mean, Iron Man's probably better than Deadpool. But you get what I mean, I mean Deadpool's not really MC can or official. He's an X-Men. But anyway, aside from that, that's going off topic. And um, Iron Man got an extremely high uh, uh, grossing, like Terrible and Tomatoes and IMDB. Um, it, it was an amazing film, in my opinion. And um, uh, the only difference, like it, it kind of felt a bit different from the MCU. It was a bit lower scale less action-packed and kind of more chill like if you look at like the latest MCU films like Thor Ragnarok it's just all action and comedy and just it, ju it just hits you every second this is more chill out just kind of more relaxed but then you still get a bit of action and lots of humor and stuff like that which is why lots of people like it and um, it was very enjoyable to me some of my favorite scenes, uh, or favorite parts of the film, I like the villain, and he was really good. It's like that, he, he wants uh, pretty, pretty much Iron Man's fame and power and all the money that he has, so he tries to take over company by building another Iron Man suit, which is his version of it, which fails in the end. Um, I like the ending where he, like Iron Man goes up to the press, 
and he just says, I am Iron Man, which is wildly confusing to everyone. It's like, no one would say that, it's complete opposite to what everyone other famous person would say. They would try and keep it secret, he just completely let it out, and it showed off his character very well. Great character building, great world building for the next films. So Agent Coulson, which was just building up for S.H.I.E.L.D. And it was like, uh, I am Agent Coulson from Security Homeland, uh, you know what I mean, I can't remember the full name. But um, it just kind of built up, so when you watch the next film, and it's like, uh, Pepper's just like, Security Homeland, uh, yo, Agent Coulson from Security Homeland, it's like, oh, we changed that, S.H.I.E.L.D. now. It's just like, oh, that's what S.H.I.E.L.D. is, that, that's what I was thinking. I watched different films before that, I was like, oh, that's what S.H.I.E.L.D. is. But anyway, it was a really, did I say secure? A strategic homeland intervention or something like that, anyway. Yeah, strategic homeland intervention or something like that, that's S.H.I.E.L.D. But anyway, that is really a good part of the film. I like how Iron Man gets captured by um, a terrorist and then kind of realizes what he really should be doing not selling weapons but saving the people he put in harm's way it's good some good quotes with him and pepper and how like uh pepper's trying to stop him from changing the company and the face of pretty much the face of the world and he's just like no i'm going this way and this is how we're going to do it why are you stopping when i'm trying to help people and then when i'm trying to kill people like yeah you're down with it it, it is a really nice movie i've said that numerous times get a full backstory to Iron Man and then he is there throughout all the films and he just becomes one of the top favorite um, Marvel Avengers throughout the world. It's just all that world building, basing, way team and Avengers, you like him even more, Age of Ultron, Captain America Civil War, and he's gonna come back, and he came back in Homecoming, he's gonna come back in Infinity War, like everyone, everyone wants him, everyone wants to see him and that was a bit of the purpose of this film. To introduce one of the top characters and kickstart the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, just a few last words before I do end this video. Um, I would rate this film a solid 9 out of 10. The only one just being it's a little too chill and slow paced. I would prefer it to be faster paced and a bit more, you know, quick. The other movies are, then they're like the good parts of this movie, which take them lower. It's like they took the what I wanted this movie to have and then they took away what I liked about this movie so it kind of made them lower on the list. Iron Man is my favourite Iron Man, the first one. I will make a ranking video so you can see the whole thing. Stay tuned for that. And if you guys want to share your reactions as I said in the beginning of the video, share them via the Stardust app. You can follow me at AKJKY, uh, just sorry, at AKJK. And then you can just tag the, your reactions to me, and I will put them on the next video. If you want to talk about Iron Man on, by us all means, but I probably won't put it because there is no other Iron Man film or video that I'm making soon. But you can do one about The Incredible Hulk, or any other film in the MCU that you really like or really hate, or you just want to express your emotions about it. Just do that, there's a link for the app in the description down below, and you can do that. Uh, you can subscribe to notifications at any of the way that I'm running, but actually I'm running, I'm not running a game on the channel. Just smash like when subscribe and turn notifications. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video at 6pm. I hope you guys enjoy.